Hey guys, very quick update on Bitcoin. So in the last video, we spoke about the two high time frame levels of support that we could look out for, one being at 35K, the other being at 24K. Obviously that was all in keeping with this being like a bullish continuation pattern here on the daily time frame. So we were looking at the WXY, so that would be a running double three if it finished at 35K, whilst it'd be more of an expanded double three if we came down to 24k so obviously we've had that kind of roll over here down into 35k we've also got a pitchfork support here at the lower median line so a bit of confluence here with support on top of that we've got a very similar picture on ethereum if we pull that up as well you can see we come down and hit the lower median line of this pitchfork also so a bit of confluence there on correlating charts just coming back to bitcoin so the question is now are we going to see a bounce from here and you know see price start racing up out of this pitchfork and to the upside so um it's a little bit early to tell but if we zoom in on the hourly time frame you can see we haven't really got that elliott wave bounce to suggest that we've got an impulsive uh reversal to the upside okay so i have seen corrective moves turn into a uh, significant swing lows but i have to say looking at this it looks very much like a bearish continuation pattern getting ready to make another leg down okay whether that's just another small dip to the downside and then it goes higher or whether it dips all the way down to 24k we're yet to see but right now i would say it's a case of sitting out watching to see how things play out this is a high time frame level it will take time to determine how it's going to react at this level we're interested in our weekly closes our monthly closes in and around this level okay so there's no need to jump in on the 15 minute chart getting all excited because it's hit our target okay so yeah 15 minute time frame as you can see there's nothing about this that strikes me as it looking particularly impulsive uh we had here i mean this move here i can only see it as three wave move up looks very corrective in my opinion so nothing to suggest that you know we're seeing a major bounce off of this point here on the let's go on the four hourly just to kind of look at the sub wave counts you can argue we've got a one two three four five so that you can call it your a wave and then you've got a b zigzag and then potentially for the c you've got a one two three four and then your fifth and arguably the fifth can be broken down into five waves also so that could be a one running flat two three and then you'd expect a four and a five so i am thinking there is the possibility of a small dip down beneath and maybe for the month we end up closing above this very significant level of 35k which is our monthly range um and obviously uh, we've got the um, Camarilla pivots. We spoke about them in the last video. So our weekly Camarilla pivots, we had the, we've had we hit the S3 absolutely perfectly around 35K. And don't forget the lower target is 24K if we lose this level, okay? So right now it's a case of just watching, waiting to see how things play out. We're looking for an impulsive move to the upside followed by a corrective move down. That will give us a good show of strength, but ideally for confirmation of a reversal, we want to see price get back above the upper median line. So hopefully we'll see how things play out very soon and I'll hopefully be giving you an update shortly. All right, guys, take care.